Dakar Rally, it's an off-road race for 14 days straight. It's you, your co-driver in the machine, covering almost 8,000 kilometers through the most uh, challenging terrains. It's, it's really the most challenging race on Earth. It's the best and worst two weeks of your life. It's so grueling and so miserable. That's one giant adventure, I think, is the easiest way to put it. My name is Lucas Moraes, and I'm the driver of Toyota Gazoo Racing Team. And this is my second Dakar. When I was very young, I fell in love with the motocross. It was really 10 years of professional motocross rider. And then I made a switch to four wheels. When my focus completely switched to, okay, now maybe we can go overseas and try Dakar. For me, it's really a dream to be part of the Dakar starting grid, uh, representing Brazil. We are full focus on, on winning. We just cannot get ahead of ourselves or uh, underestimate the race. Perfect. Nice. Ready. Nice. My name's Chuck Quintero. I'm 21 years old from San Marcos, California. I'm a very competitive person. My whole life I've been, been focused on off-road racing. You know, my family was my whole race team. After I started racing, I just kind of knew that, you know, racing was where I I wanted to go, and I wanted to do no matter what. Obviously, I want to get a stage win. I'm a realist. I know it's going to be quite a struggle to do that with how much talent's in this class. All these guys have been, you know, they have 20 Dakars, which I'm only 21 years old, and they've been racing a lot longer than I've been alive. So uh, we'll see what happens. Welcome to Saudi Arabia and the iconic Dakar Rally. 8,000 kilometers over a two-week adventure on four wheels, the toughest motorsport event on Earth. Starting Dakar is really emotional because you really don't know what to expect. You just kind of take a sigh of relief, to be honest, because you've been working so hard for it and, and trying to get here is, is not easy. Sit back, relax, and get ready for the ride. I think uh, my biggest critic is myself, to be honest. Very hard to not try to go out and, and be the best. And you know, I, I could have everybody around me telling me I did a great job, and in my head, I didn't do the best. The rookie sensation, Seth Quintero, is going really well on this first day. It just kind of all clicks together. It's kind of an indescribable feeling. Quintero lives up to the expectations, coming in in second place. A fantastic result for the young rookie. One well, over and done with. In the beginning, we were right on it, so well done. Yeah. No, it felt great. There's a, definitely a lot left, so. I've had a lot of uh, like self-doubt. And get second place on the first day was not expected. Um, I don't think anybody expected that out of me. And, and fight with the best in the world. It was truly an amazing feeling and, and a sigh of relief and, and a breath of fresh air. Good morning. Full attack. Full attack. Full attack. Full attack. Full attack. <laughs> deal, deal. Deal. <laughs> The mental side is probably the most important in a race like that car because we are hours and hours inside the car. To keep the focus throughout the stage, it's really important to perform well. Lucas Marais is second at the moment, but he's hunting down the leader. No, we knew that we were going in a great pace because we, we caught some cars. So you start to feel that uh, you want to make a good result when the pace is really good, the rhythm is good. Oh, 
After over four hours of driving over tough terrain, Moraes takes the stage win. Brazil's first stage win in Dakar history. Yes! <laughs> well done. Huh? Thank you, thank you, man. This is, this is we got awesome. the result or not? Yeah, you went to the conference. To win a Dakar stage is like winning a round of the Formula One on our sport. So it was an unbelievable feeling for us. My daughter was in the hospital the whole week uh, treating meningitis. So I was here in the Dakar. My wife was taking care of her in Brazil. So it was very emotional for me to win a stage for her. A new Dakar day and yet another long stage. 631 kilometers to cover. So much has to come together perfectly every single day to, to be able to win this race. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough one. opening the stage so well, he could be in the mix here. We had a flow. We felt pretty good, we felt confident, and we knew we were going at a good speed. So about 50 kilometers into the stage, uh, we hit a rock. Oh no, someone is in trouble. It's Seth Quintero. So the moment you stop, you just hope, okay, hopefully we, we don't lose too much time. Try to fight yourself back, you try to repair. We tried everything, but we couldn't make it work. Losing weighs on me really hard just because I want to make everybody so proud and, and sometimes you can't always do that. The mistake was a crushing blow to the Californians' rally. He's now out of contention. I mean, there's disappointment and, and whatever, but it's very easy for me to, to turn that around and, and use it as fuel into the next day and kind of keep going because, you know, what am I going to do, sit there and dwell on it for the next 12 hours or just keep going racing? Halfway into the Dakar Rally, we have Toyota Gazoo Racing's Lucas Moraes in fourth overall, and he's surely setting his sights upon a podium. I take one extra gel, just in case. All right, this is ready. All right. When you get into the second week, you can really start to feel that the rally have been throwing punches at you, both physically and mentally. The body is always bumping inside, and we are jumping stuff and hitting stuff. The car can handle so much. Sometimes like fighting with Mike Tyson inside the car, really. The smaller thing can have a big impact when the finish is getting closer, especially when we are in a good position fighting for a podium. The 2024 Dakar Rally is almost at the end, and Lucas Moraes and Armand Monleon are third in the overall standings at this point. When you are fighting for the podium, you are very close to history. All the details really matter. We started the stage quite well, uh, car was perfect. And uh, we got everything under control with the proper rhythm, no taking risks. Wow, the Dakar is certainly not over yet. The timing data shows that Lucas Moraes has moved up to second overall.
Dakar has once again proven that this is the toughest rally in the world. The damage that has kept them at a standstill now for more than two hours have completely ruined their chances of a podium. When we finish this stage, all the emotion comes out. Hard to even talk about it now because we were so close, but uh, at the same time so far. We need to get better for next year and uh, we're going to come back swinging. I feel like every time I race this race, um, I age a few years. You put yourself through such hardships that you don't realize in the moment, and then when you get done with it, you realize that uh, you definitely grow as a person, grow as a human. It's the last day of the rally, so usually everyone's like, okay, I'm, I'm very ready to be done with this. But I say get ready, but about two days at home, everybody will be ready to come back. I don't, I don't know why. Anybody from the outside looking in is like, why would I want to go drive 8,000 kilometers through the roughest terrain in the world for 14 days? and not just drive through it, but go as fast as you can. I'm really motivated. I think we have the best tools uh, to do a great rally again. I can't wait for next year to be sitting on this machine again and go flat out. You just want to get into the car and race to win. That's why we, we are here for sure.